accountability is the constant struggle. It is the translation from a scholarly medium into a popular medium that's informed by scholarly knowledge is one way to do it. That's what I have my students do in their final projects, had them do in each of the classes. So in the case of my Medieval Heroes course, students would take what they learned and they would translate that into a poster which would speak to somebody who knew nothing about the materials that we'd been reading. My other uh, class, which they put up an exhibit in a public space about the Crusades. And the idea again was to take something scholarly and present it for a lay audience in a way that preserves its nuances. It gave them, I think, an opportunity to dig into things that they were really interested in. Um, and I police the reading. Policing is an ugly word, but that's what I do. The homework assignments ask them to use what they've read. The homework assignments cannot be satisfactorily completed without their having read at least half of the reading. Interaction. Students get a lot of feedback on their work, which in many cases they never pay attention to. When, if a student wanted to redo an assignment, and students always get to redo assignments, before we gave permission, the student was going to have to email me or whoever graded their paper with a summary of our comments and a statement about how they were going to respond to those comments. So, uh, and that vastly improved the quality of the rewrites, um, focused them on the comments, got them mostly past this, oh, well, I'll tweak it here or I'll tweak it there, and hand it back in. Critiques of their second posters, and I typed that up on a form. The students also had to um, critique their own poster after they'd critiqued somebody else's. And I put that on the same form so that they could see whether there's a gap between their self-critique and the critique of others of their posters. The critiques hand, pass through my hands, so I'm in a position to say to them, you know, this was not a very good critique. And if they have not done a good critique, then I deduct points from their, poster, their own poster grade um, to get them to take it seriously. So it's something they have to do. They don't get points for doing it, but when they don't do it seriously. I have students work in teams. They are grouped into permanent teams at around the fifth week of, of class so that I don't have quite so much in and out of the class at that point. I don't have any in, but I have less out. Um, and they have to be accountable to their peers for what they do and they don't do. And three times a semester, I have each person, each person report on themselves and their peers, how they, um, what they're contributing and what, they're, what they need to do to contribute uh, more fully. So the unequivocal answer is yes. I think what you need to do is you need to balance individual assessments with team assessments. Because um, you will have people who will be tempted to free ride. And you want a way to call them out so that my homeworks, which they get to do at home over a week, and what I called door assignments, assignments that students bring to class with them to prepare them for discussion, are worth a substantial part of their grade. Students who are not doing door assignments and who are not doing homeworks will not pass the course. Unless